We know this is a really important issue in the industry to address. We obviously, in the U.S. especially, want to help to have um, contamination-free cotton, and we want to do everything we can to make sure, um, on the harvester side anyway, that uh, we're not adding to that and we're helping to uh, prevent it. During harvest, many cotton producers use onboard module builders or round module builders such as the John Deere 7760, CP690, and CS690 models. This new technology has helped improve efficiency, lower labor cost, and preserve fiber quality for cotton producers across the cotton belt. John Deere provides module staging instructions, ginning recommendations, and inspection and maintenance guides with their harvesters. John Deere also designed the Go Cotton app to complement their cotton harvesters. This app is available through Apple Store and Google Play, and it offers producers a step-by-step -step guide to properly clean and maintain their machine. If you ever run into more complicated problems than the guide covers, always contact your local John Deere dealership. But when we get one even like this, we were able to haul it. If you had to try to get that cotton in the gin without getting any plastic on it, how would you do it? I mean, it's just not easy. We got, we do have a suck pipe. Some gins don't even have a suck pipe. Also remember that communication between the producer and gin manager should always be a priority. If a module has an issue during harvest, inform the gin as soon as possible. This rule also applies for damaged modules. If the gin is made aware of damage on the front end, they can take the proper steps to clean up the module and prevent contamination. I'd say if we get a good module here, with uh, it's not torn or anything, it's virtually zero contamination ever. It's right here is where we have most of our problems. Or we get one that's partially torn up that we can still run on here. 